Ever wonder how to connect your ESP32 in Huawei to ThingsBoard? In this video, I'll show you step by step with a quick example using a temperature sensor and LED, and at the end, I'll reveal a trick to make editing your Huawei diagram super easy in Visual Studio Code. If you are interested, let's get started! Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do is go to the repository for this video. So the name is esp 32 thingsboard platformio wokwi and then here you will see, well, a little description about this repo. This is a basic template for ESP32 that integrates a DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor and a controllable LID, all simulated in Wokwi and connected to Thingsboard. And what is the connection that we are going to be using? We are going to use this connection. As you can see, here is a sensor temperature and also you will see a LAD. In this repository, you will also find what is the dependencies and libraries that we are going to be using. As you can see here, we are using the Thingsport version number 14. This is really important because if you are trying to install the latest version that is 15, you will run into an error. So please make sure that you are using the version number 14. All right, guys, so we are going to clone the repository. So click on here in the green button that says code, copy the git address and open your terminal. And then we are going to put git clone that repository. Awesome. So once we have, uh, let me open the new repo. So I believe this ESP32. Alright, and let me open in my editor in Visual Studio Code. Alright guys, so once our project is ready in Visual Studio Code, the next step is to install the platform IO and work with extensions. So I already have them installed, but if you don't, no worry, it's super easy. Just open the extension panel here. Um, for example, I already have the platform IO page. Just hit the button install, but if you're looking for Walkway Station, just put in here Walkway, click on Walkway Simulator and hit the install button. Okay guys, so one very important thing is that we need to create a license in order to use Walkway. So to do this, press the F1 and then we are going to type Walkway, select the option request a new license here. These options will take you to the Walkway page website. So open here and then I already have an account, but you maybe need to create a new one. So click on get your license and then copy the license key, open again a Visual Studio Code, uh, press the F1 and then type Walkway and select the manually enter license key. So copy the license key and then you will have your walkway activated all right so once we have our walkway activated we are going to check our project and for what we to work properly it basically needs two files the diagram that jason's that here is for example the diagram connection that we are going to use and then the second file is the what we that tom l that basically says which is the firmware that it needs to use. For example, here we are going to use the ESP32 microcontroller. All right, guys, so now that we have our work we're ready, uh, let's wheel our program so it can load correctly. Uh, the next step we are going to do is go to the search directory, click on the main file, and here you will find uh, four variables that uh, the first one is the Wi-Fi credentials, and the Wi-Fi password, the token, the things for server. So the first and the second one, you can leave as they are because we are using the what we Wi-Fi connections. And then we are going to update the token and the things for server. And in order to do that, we will go to the things for and we will create a new device. Okay, so let's create a new device in things for. Uh, we are going to go to the device sections, click on device here, and then click on add device, add a new device. I will name it esp 32 walkwe and then click on the add button here, and then close the window. If you click in the new device we created, you will see uh, the copy access token button. So click on the copy access token, 
return to the Visual Studio Code and paste it here. All right, so once we have all the variables configured, it, so let's build our program. All right, guys, so once our program is compiled, so we can simulate it with what we. So in order to do that, go to the diagram.json file and click on here in the start the simulator button and then uh, our work we will simulate our ESP32 microcontroller. And you can see here my uh, microcontroller is trying to connect in to an access point and then yeah, it's already connected using this token and is subscribing for RPC commands. So the subscribe is done. Uh, how you can verify that everything is working well? So you can go to the things for page and then go to the latest telemetry. And you can see here we are receiving some values as humidity, lead mode, uh, lead state, and temperature. And also, if you go to the attributes, you will find the attributes for our uh, my controller. As you can see here, we are using the SSID from what we was and uh, this MAC address. So everything is working well. All right, guys. So once we have our walk with sensor connected to things board, the next step is to create a dashboard to visualize the variables we're sending. For that, uh, we're going to import a dashboard from our repository. So let's first go to the dashboard section here. Click on add dashboard, import dashboard and then select our ESP32 dash dashboard. If you import the dashboard, you will find something like this. Um, please make sure that you are using in the entity alias our microcontroller from ESP32 Walkway. Okay, so once we have already set up, uh, you can see here a little information about the attributes in this table from our sensor or from our microcontroller. And also you will find uh, device information and a little widgets about the blinking mode, the LED state, the LED mode history, and a widget from humidity and temperature values. Okay, so let's test it first. Let me start the simulation in my walkway from Visual Studio Code. Click on the start the simulations. I will put this uh, in my right of the screen and let's see how it's working. For example, right now uh, we are sending we are sending some uh, temperature values and humidity. For example, temperature is uh, 20 degrees. As you can see right now here in this value is 20. Uh, that's it. And if I change, for example, I don't know, 25, uh, my walk, we will send these values to things for, and we right now are gonna to see the 25 values in things for. Also it's working with uh, humidity, for example, right now is 41. And if I change to 44, uh, my microcontroller will send that information to things for, and things for, will show my new value to 44. Okay, you can also uh, play around with the uh, let state. Uh, let me first, okay, let me first turn off the blinking mode. For example, the let state is a simple um, share command to change the state for our LED. For example, if I turn on the LED, you will see uh, ID turning on and if I turn off you will see our LID turning off and you also can play around with the blinking mode for example if I click in the blinking mode you will see how the LED state is changing uh, from turn on to turn off and also is taking this blinking interval as a reference for example right now the blinking interval is like a two seconds as you can see here in the LED mode history but if I wanna I don't know for example change it to one second 
you will see how our LED state is changing more faster. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that is everything. You can play around with this template. Maybe you can, I don't know, uh, send another values from humidity and temperature. Probably you will send vibration values. Or probably you only want to test it, the LED state. But it's up to you guys. So the last thing I would like to show you guys is how you can modify this Tyrant JSON file. For example, if you want to add a new LID or change the color, or I don't know, add a new sensor. Uh, probably you are trying to edit the diagram, but you will find that you need a new uh, license, for example, a ProPlans. But because this is a JSON file, you can just uh, modify, I don't know, the file, for example, I would put dash test. And you will find this is a simple JSON, so you can use uh, the what we uh, website uh, version. For example, I don't know. I will change the color, and then when you change the color, you will see how the diagram that JSON is modifying. You can copy this and paste it here, and then remove the dash test uh, name, and you will see how we are modifying the json file all right guys that is for today's video if you enjoyed it and found it helpful please give it a like and share it with anyone who might be interested in this kind of content so thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye